how are you? I hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome again in my YouTube channel. And uh, it is my expectation that you enjoyed the last lesson. Today, I have prepared a huge topic about uh, educational stakeholders and uh, how these stakeholders require education guidance and counseling for the increased efficiency. Uh, among these stakeholders, today I am going only to explain the group number one and the stakeholders number one are students. Okay? There are different ways in which students should behave so that they reach their academic excellence. And I have prepared five ways which must be followed by the students so that they can acquire their academic excellence. The first way is to respect all groups of people. The students should respect all groups of people equally. Uh, when I speak different groups, for example, are teachers, parents, and other relatives, because these are the people who surround him or her and who make sure, who make sure that she or he meets the requirements or the needs in his or her academic way. The way number two is to, to follow the school rules and regulations. The schools and regulations. These provide the guides which must be followed by the students when he or she is at school. Without following these schools and regulations, the success will not be there because a student is highly chanced to follow without following the school rules and regulations. The third way uh, is to have effective timetable, effective timetable or a well-planned and fulfilled timetable. This is very, very important to a student. You must have a well-planned and fulfilled timetable so that you can reach your goals. But remember, to have a fulfilled timetable, you must own your own watch. Your own watch is very, very important for your timetable to be successive free. The fourth point is to have a good relationship with the other students. Your students, make sure that you have good relationship with your fellows. Because you know, maybe you need some notes or other materials to, to read. Without the good relationship with your surrounding students, your fellow surrounding students, you will not assess these materials. So you must have a good relationship. The last way is to attend all sessions and to attempt all the exams. You must obey this because when you attend all sessions, it is where you can know the way maybe an exam, the way maybe the questions will appear in exams. If you don't attend the sessions, you will miss some concepts. So make sure that you attend all sessions and you attempt all exams because are through these exams where you are experimented to see your progress academically. So make sure that you obey these five ways. And I am sure through obeying these five ways, you will, your academic excellence will be high. In summary of these five ways, way number one, to respect all groups of people. Way number two, to obey the scores and regulations. Way number three, to have a well-planned timetable and for free one. Way number four, to have good relationship with the other students. Way number five, to attend all class sessions and to attempt all exams. Thank you, and I welcome you again in the following sessions. As I have told you that, I have prepared a series of lessons to explain these education stakeholders. So, welcome again. And I am happy to have enjoyed the lesson. Uh, but saying so, I say to you, goodbye. See you the next time.